there has never been a better time to go make a game. The first time you get to hold something you make in your hands, that's the best feeling. These are uh, Scott's book of great ideas. I think I'm up to about 30 now. We're in the middle of a tabletop renaissance. It's a $3 billion industry and every year it grows. My dad was always inspired by stories and that gave birth to the, to the game. When I realized that okay, I can live from Catan and my family can live from Catan, it was um, yeah, freedom for me. There's conventions and awards and now independent designers can get into the action without game publishers because of the invention of things like crowdfunding. And I looked at that whole ecosystem and I thought, oh man, I want to play too. Originally our goal on Kickstarter was, okay, let's try to raise $10,000. That'll be our goal. We hit that in seven minutes. The worst thing you can do as a game designer is fall in love with one of your designs which do not work. I am put in the unenviable position of people coming to me and saying, this is my grandchild. And I say, well, let me tell you about your grandchild. I would say we went through hundreds of versions of Exploding Kittens. And every time we test it out and find another three things that we messed up. <laughs> You know, I'm like a 14, 15 year old kid playing D&D with like some 50 year old lady. Really colorful characters of all sexes, all backgrounds, all nationalities. There was always the expectation that as a young Pakistani girl, I would get married by the time I'm 20. That's why I'm always trying to create work that can make the world a better place. If it hadn't been board games, I'd have been around the streets with a lot of other knuckleheads. You actually have to get as much creative output as you can out there. 99% of them are gonna suck, but there's always little nuggets that you'll learn from until something good comes out. I'm hoping that with this game, someone else will be inspired to be like, I can break free too. The main thing that I want is to be in this industry. If the world doesn't play games, then we don't need any game designers anymore, and the world would be certainly a much sadder place. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>